<laughs> My favorite part of today has been getting in the middle of people's selfies. <laughs> Say here, bonjour. Today we're going to the catacombs. <laughs> I went to sleep super early because I was dead tired. I walked like 11 miles yesterday, <laughs> and uh, so went to sleep at like eight. Woke up at like 3 a.m. I, but I managed to go. Uh, went to a bakery when it opened at seven. And I got a super fresh croissant, which is awesome. ticket to before I left was the catacombs and they're on strike until Sunday <laughs> so apparently that's not uh, not gonna be an option today <laughs> they've closed it down and they're, they're asking for donations and solidarity <laughs> that's fantastic well I guess on the Versailles Apparently going on strike is a very common thing in Paris for everything. I was told that, but <laughs> it's pretty cool that I get to experience it. This guy's doing great. <laughs> Looks just like me. Except like 20 years older. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm mailing some letters to people back home. The way it works is you have to go into the post office and uh, you have to use a machine. You can't talk to a person and you print out these little stamps. That's what a, that's what a European stamp looks like. This is a one euro and 30 cents to mail a letter internationally. I had someone help me with the last one. I, I did this one all by all by myself. A little difficult because like, the machine wouldn't switch over to English for whatever reason. All right, well the catacombs are on strike. I'm gonna get something to drink and then I'm gonna head to Versailles. I have a slight change of plans since that was uh, since that was closed. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go to the top of Mount Parnasse. <laughs> See the view. Yeah. How's this for a view? How cool is that? We'll 
say. One thing about Paris, there's a ton of gorgeous women around. It's definitely the best view. This is interesting. I'm gonna come on a day, I guess they're, they're, I saw a film crew downstairs. It would appear they are filming a guy. So he's gonna jump off the top. That should be interesting. There was a, uh, I don't know, grocery store inside of the train station where I stopped. It's got like a liter of water to my pocket. And uh, I grabbed some snacks. Their snacks are way different than what you'd expect from like a convenience store in, in the U.S. I got like a mini in, in Voltini. They were like, uh, it was like Sopracetta covering wrapped around cheese. And I got like olives and cheese. Remember I bought this wheel of stinky cheese. <laughs> I couldn't pass it up. There's the, I don't, I don't know, I would imagine it's gonna be like blue cheese and there's no way I'm gonna eat this entire wheel. It's probably gonna get gross, but some sort of, some sort of cheese I've never heard of and I couldn't pass it up. Let me just think. walkway on the way to Versailles. Little restaurants and shops. Welcome to Versailles.
favorite part of today has been getting in the middle of people's selfies. <laughs> women, like just in the back, just you see women like start jerking the camera. I mean, I don't know, I haven't had a chance to do it to a dude. Most dudes don't take a lot of selfies. <laughs> so funny. idea of scale of this thing. That's where the house is, which is here on the map. I am at 19. And it extends this whole thing. This place is fucking huge. Apparently to walk from from uh, this house to the other house is like two kilometers. And it all looks like this, with like perfectly manicured bushes and shrub, shrubs, and there's there's apparently hundreds, hundreds of carved marble statues. They're all over the place. I mean. I can't leave here without walking through. It's like, look at that. We've got like a hedge maze. Apparently there's a glorious fountain this way. So that's the way we're going to go. Look at how beautiful and serene this place is. This, everything is like perfectly manicured. Well, apparently not that. But everything else is perfectly manicured. We're gonna walk in through here a little bit. This is something else, man. I would come here just for the garden. It's incredible. It is about 6.20. I took the tram, took the tram back. <laughs> it was like, I'd walked over a kilometer, I think, to get out there. And uh, it's, it's, it's getting late. I need to walk the, you know, two kilometers back to the train station and start heading back to, back home. I'm gonna shower and get ready for my show. <coughs> Which starts at 10. And I probably gotta be there by like 9.30. That's gonna take a bit. Probably gonna be 7.30 before I get back. Shower, it'll be 8. And see if I have enough time to go get dinner somewhere. Wow, look at this statue. place is incredible. This is a